My name is Father Jeff Ernst. I'm a Capuchin Franciscan, and I'm pastor here at St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church in Lawrence, Kansas. This uh, question is, it just says, discerning priest. So, what are your thoughts on Vatican II? Why do so many people hate it radically? So, the Second Vatican Council um, was a, an, a council of reform, as many councils are in the church. So, uh, it, was a, it was called, in 1962, uh, it was called as a council of reform, a reform of the liturgy, primarily, and also uh, a rearticulation of the role of bishops. Those are the two main reasons the, council, the Second Vatican Council was called. Um, what ended up happening, though, is that, yes, those two issues were dealt with. The liturgy, uh, there was a reform of liturgy, and uh, there, there's a document. If you look up documents of Vatican Council II, there's a document on the, the, on the liturgy, that is, on the Mass, and main, primarily on the Mass. And then, but there is also, and there's also a document on the role of bishops and how bishops are to understand themselves in the contemporary church. But other documents came from that um, council. And so the two of the more popular ones are um, Gaudium et Spes, which is the pastoral constitution of the church uh, in the modern world of the Second Vatican Council. And that document deals with the human experience and how the gospel relates to the human experience and how the church is called to relate the gospel to the human experience and how the, um, we as Catholics and Christians are called to understand human beings in light of uh, the previous 50 or 60 years in social sciences, for example, anthropology, psychology, um, the different sciences that contributed to how we understand the human person today, um, or at least in the 60s when the council was called. And so that, um, that document seeks to have, articulate a pastoral approach of the church to people in the modern world. The other significant document that came from that council was um, uh, Lumen Gentium, and that is the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the dogmatic constitution of the church in the, second, um, in the modern world of the Second Vatican Council. So the first one's the pastoral constitution of the church in, of the, in the modern world of the Second Vatican Council. The other one is the dogmatic constitution of the church in, in the modern world of the Second Vatican Council. And that document, uh, Lumen Gentium, the dogmatic constitution, is the, is the doctrinal um, position of the church vis-a-vis uh, -vis the modern world. And so what does the church teach about uh, God, about um, the Trinity, about each of the persons of the Trinity, uh, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit? What does the church teach about Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mary? What does it teach about the church itself? Um, what does it teach about morality? What does the church teach about the saints? And so all of the Catholic um, positions or doctrines of the church are articulated in that council. Uh, it, it's not as though you can go to that document and readily see what, what does a church teach on a particular thing. And the reason for that is because the, the catechism of the Catholic Church does that. The Catechism calls down what's in uh, uh, the, the, the dogmatic constitution of the Church and modern world and other documents and, pa and in papal encyclicals and other resources. So the, do the, the Catechism includes those documents from the Second Vatican Council, but others as well. And so the, the Catechism, if you want, know, want to know clearly what the Church teaches doctrinally, the Catechism is the more clear document. But its foundation is in um, the, past, the dogmatic constitution of the Church and modern world. Another groundbreaking document coming from the Second Vatican Council is with regard to sacred scripture. So, um, uh, Verbum Domini, the Word of the Lord, is a document that talks about how we, how we understand and interpret uh, the Bible. And so, uh, a lot of, again, like in the human sciences and the social sciences, so also with um, literary sciences came different forms of literary analysis and critique and so forth. And so that, all of that happened toward the end of the 19th and early 20th century and, and on. It continues to this day. 
And so uh, that document on the on divine revelation is what it's on, um, including the scriptures and the church's tradition, um, talks a lot about scripture and how we understand the Bible today and how we are to understand certain passages and, and how to apply them and so forth. So, so that, that, those are my thoughts on the Second Vatican Council. The first part of, our, of the discerning priest question 